Welcome to the movie review of the Beverly Hills Cop. Man. Um, this movie right here, man. Listen, Eddie Murphy. I mean, I'm just Eddie. Come on, man. This movie has so many great key moments in it. Um, but the whole with him, with Axel Foley's, you know, with him and his daughter reconnecting. And she just feeling like that he bailed out on him. That he bailed out on her because of the divorce between her mother and him. And that he left her behind. But really it was her mother that pushed him away to cause the, the divorce. Um, he went on to say how like her, the, her mother was more dangerous than the street mafia or something like that. And uh, I found that very funny because I mean like, damn. Like that had to really be, she had to really been bad. If he said that she's worse than the, uh, I think he was saying the street mafia, because that was like something that uh, a gang, a, uh, a mafia on the movie that had to be taken out. Like that was what was coming. Like um, that was like a mafia that was like sort of that he had to, had to be eliminated. And um. Street crime and things like that of that sort. That's what like brought the action within the whole within the movie itself. Because I mean, you get to see like cars, like you know what, you know, uh, bombarding into each other and um, like a, a chase. They were like chasing him. Like, he was driving this big old um, look like a trash. Uh, it like it was a tra a dumpster tr a dumpster truck. And like with that whole situation with that action scene with them trying to, then he had hopped out of there and he had to steal and hijack a golf cart. Well, it looked like a golf cart, but it was like a um one of them uh, the fake love security cop little um cart. <laughs> the lady was uh driving it because she was giving somebody a ticket and he had to tell him that he had he had to break away because he was being chased by I think it was the street mafia or whatever. So he had to d d steal her you know cart her security cart, and um this lady was still holding on to the cart. The whole time, like he was driving the speed, that he was looking, looking like, and she was still holding on, looking at him like this. I like this lady crazy. So um, they was they was chasing him on foot. Why he was? Cause you know that them cars be slow. But like I just love like the action that was in that brought to this movie, that was brought within this movie, and that's what kept you engaged. And Eddie Murphy, um, his Axel Foley character, I feel. He still looks freshly like Axel Foley of the old Beverly Hills Cop movie. Like he still looked it fresh, like he was like had a lot of energy. And um, I like this. I like seeing Eddie like that because I mean, when you see your actors when they um when they've been doing what they've been doing for so long, and it seems like they haven't lost a step, unless you know they you know are taking care of themselves, and um, I guess smoking a lot of weed. <laughs> Now we go get into that, and the reason why I brought that up, y'all, was because I took a picture, uh, you know, and it's gonna pop up somewhere in between this video. But Eddie Murphy, listen, here we go, right here. Eddie Murphy, he be getting high. You hear me? Like Eddie Murphy, the type of person, like you know, if you if you smoke weed. And you hanging out with him, he ain't finna pass you the blunt. Cause I mean, I don't because it's, it's his it's his weed. But even if it was your blunt and he and you pass it to him, he ain't finna pass it back. Look at his lips. Eddie Murphy be getting blazed, man. I'm talking about he smoked like he don't like, you know, smoke the blunt and then when it get down to the roach, you know, you just pluck the rest of the ashes out and you just, you know, do it. No. Eddie Murphy gonna smoke it like he gonna smoke it past the roach. Till it damn near burn his fingernail. He looked like he keep the roach or the blunt on his lip just like this. Just let it sit. And they be like, Eddie, wait a minute, man. You don't supposed to let the roach sit on your lip like that. Don't it burn? Eddie don't feel nothing. His lip is numb. You hear me? Look how black it is. 
Now you know dang well, well black as Eddie Murphy lips done got him. He got the Whoopi Goldberg lips. So you know his lip is numb when it come down and when he's smoking down to the roast. When he get that little, he don't feel nothing. Blunt, the roast be sitting right there and be like, Eddie, you don't feel that? That don't burn? And he look at you like, what? Oh, shit, man. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Here you go. And pass the blunt back to you. That's how, that's how it looks. It looked like he smoked it past the roach. But anyway, back to the movie. Um, I like the fact that he brought his daughter, Bria, into the movie as well. The showcase off her, um, her acting skill set. And she did really great. I was surprised. I didn't never see Bria in anything like as far as like film wise a movie. So it, it looks like it wasn't no nepotism that was being shown. It actually looked like she actually went out to audition because the scenes that she was in, like she looked very believable. I believe her character and she nailed it. So shout out to Bria Murphy, man. She really did her thing, man. Uh, I mean, my hat goes off to her. This is, like I said, I think this is her first film, well, that I've known her, like, first big film. And um, she nailed it. She really did. She nailed it. And um, she looked as great as, as she always does. I mean, no makeup required or needed. You know, just a natural black woman. And uh, so shout out to Bria Murphy. Woo! But, um... <laughs> Yeah, but this movie right here, man, uh, it was like from the storyline to the beginning, leading on up to them having to eliminate the, what, the street mafia. I'm going to call them the street mafia. I, I'm probably like leaving something out on what the name of, of the gang was actually called. But um, it was a lot of dirty. You know, it was another dirty cop too. He's a legend. Um, white guy. He's a well-known actor himself. I forget his character name on here, but he was dirty. So Eddie had to take him out. He had to end up getting shot at the end. And this is like a spoiler. At the end of the, at the close to the end of the movie, Eddie Murphy ended up Axel Foley. Uh, the character played by Eddie Murphy, of course. He ended up getting shot because he uh the guy, the dirty cop, was trying to shoot his daughter. So he went in to save his daughter and jumped in front of the bullet and took one of um, like right there on the side of the, uh, his right chest, like up in the upper part, right in this area. And um, I feel like that really brought the bond that was missing between him and his daughter. That kind of made everything get much more closer between them two because of the of, of the of the years and years of not seeing him and him putting work first and. She feeling like like I was stating that she that he abandoned her, and um, she held in a lot of anger in because of that, and and she was just confused and didn't know why things were the way they were, and throughout the movie, it was kind of like she had her guard up, and um, he was kind of feeling like, how can I keep trying to make things right? What if she kept keep pushing me away? But. Thankfully, that um, they was able to come close and reconnect at the end by him saving her from the bullet and um, him going down to, you know, get some breakfast because the the hospital food that they was having Axel Foley eating, woo, it looked like some dog crap. It looked bad. It really did. It looked bad. And um, so he went down and got his own food. He had him his whole hospital gown with his little uh, Letterman jacket or whatever that he always wear. And um, she was down there and she saw him because she was looking for him. And um, yeah, they reconnected and they bonded. And towards the end of the movie, as you can see from the top, it ended up with the detective, uh, um, Billy, right there on the driver's side, and the sergeant. Um, John Taggart, if I'm mispronouncing the name, his sergeant, because his sergeant has suspended um, his uh, daughter's ex-boyfriend because he didn't agree with something that he did, and he felt felt like that he was like going outside of his work as far as like with the case of of um, trying to find out what's going on like within like 
you know, with um, the dirtiness of what was going on as far as like the crime. So I didn't agree with him suspending them, but either way, they uh, came back together, and I'm quite sure his suspension was uplifted. And um, this scene was the last scene of three of them going in the car, going to get a steak. Because he wanted a steak, and they didn't want to give him a steak because they said that, you know, that he shouldn't be eating that. Uh, because he was like, I guess, fresh out the hospital or something. He was supposed to be in the hospital. He was supposed to be eating certain things. And, um, yeah, this movie was very great. And it was um, had action-packed scenes in it. And it made a lot of sense. And um, it was, it was you could tell that they took their time when they made it. And that's what I like about films when it's when you can tell that they, that they, that they took their time, you know, from the beginning, how the way that everything was all sectioned out for, for the scenes and the story plot, like things seemed like it was broken down and it wasn't rushed. It felt right and it ended smooth. So, um, yeah, man, that was my movie review out of five stars. I would give this um, a four and a half, four and a half out of five. Very required movie to watch. And, um, Eddie Murphy still got it, one of the greatest. So I suggest anybody, if y'all ain't watched it, go to Netflix and watch um, Beverly Hills Cop. You know, it's very worth it. And um, yeah, that's all I got, y'all. There's nothing more enough to be said, but, you know, to subscribe to the channel, like the video, since it's reality TV, I will holler at y'all later. Y'all know my motto. My love. Peace.